What's going on guys? Today we're going to take a look at the eScribe software from Evolve. Uh, I'm going to show you how to change a couple things around. And uh, we're going to do some CSV file tweaking. And that's about it. Hopefully it goes well. well. We will see. I got some new software for screen share. I hope it works out. Okay, here we go. Alright, so this is the Evolve software. Um, it's uh, pretty nice. As you can see, this is what you open it up to directly. Um, I'm going to go ahead and connect my DNA 200. It'll eventually recognize. It might go a little bit slow because of the fact that I'm using recording software. I'm going to go ahead and do connect and download. Just Let's try it again. There we go. So this is the name of my device. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to download the settings from my device. So you can tweak different devices pretty easily with this software if you want to help your friends out. Alright, so over here this is your um, CSV stuff right here. This uh, controls how it's going to react with whatever coil setup you have. Like for instance I have twisted 26 Canthal with 28 gauge nickel and done a Canthal 34 gauge Clapton around it. Um, so we'll dive right into the CSV right now. So what you want to do, if you're going to be using custom material, you come over here. Now if you're just using nickel, you just select that. If you're going to use custom, you select custom. And you can come over here to custom materials. That's going to direct you to a website. Eventually. Maybe. Here we go. You're going to click on calculator. Alright, so my coils were 3 millimeters in diameter. I did 6 wraps. My leg length, we'll just call it 2 millimeters. My spacing, we'll call it 0 .001 because they're touching. Most of them are touching, some of them aren't, so that's probably pretty close. Over here, we're going to select. Now, you can do Clapton, I didn't have as good results. Um, well, I guess we'll try it for this. So for the core, I'm going to select parallel. We're going to come over to, we'll do Canthal first. So we'll make this 26 gauge. And then we're going to select nickel 200. 28 gauge. All right. And then for our wire wrap, it's Canthal. We used 34. And you see that didn't really change anything over here. It shouldn't. Yeah, you can select any material from here. I used A1. Sheesh, you can do another. That's a weird selection right there. Anyway, so our resistance is uh, 0.92, which is pretty close. I'm going to go ahead and use this. Actually, I'm going to leave it. We'll leave it right there. We'll test this out. Uh, you can go to the table and it should show you all these different things that I have no idea what they mean. Um, but we'll go ahead and download this. Once it's done downloading, I'm going to show it in the folder. I'm going to go ahead and uh, Rename it. I'm going to call this uh, Clapton. Alright. Go ahead and cut this. Oop. Close that out. You can now close this out. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and just paste it on my desktop. Alright, 
So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to load CSV. It's going right to my desktop. Here's Clapton. Uh, select open. Here we go. Um, some of the other things and then uh, I'll go ahead and upload the settings to my device. Hopefully it doesn't time out because my computer is not the fastest and doing all this at once seems to mess around with it. Come on. You can do it. It's usually much, much faster. Alright. So that is officially loaded to my device. So the other things you can change in here, you can change the name of each profile. You got eight profiles. This one's my dripper. Uh, you can make custom screens. I don't exactly know how to do that. Um, you can do your power settings over here. Um, I'll go ahead and change it. Yeah, we'll leave it at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. You can lock your ohms. Whatever you want. Temperature on or off. Uh, you come down here. This is your preheat stuff. Um, I've got it set to 150 and soft and one second. I like to control the wattage on my own. Um, you can come over to the device monitor, which is pretty cool. So I can select, uh, I got temperature selected, power. Let's do uh, live and cold ohms as well. So as you uh, take a rip, it will show you all your values. Yes. No new, same coil. All right, there we go. So there you go. That's a device monitor. Close that out. Um, so there's your device. You can disconnect. Uh, what other things can we do? Your theme. This is where you can change or upload themes that people have made. Screen. You can change some of the defaults on here. Um, I haven't had much luck with the charging field uh, working. So whatever the for reason that is. Here's your mod. This will show your uh, battery life, basically. Um, this is where you would probably... Well, this is where you want to put in your uh, battery type if you were to use this software. And you got your Cantel power limit. This is something that you'll want to change because it's defaulted to 100 watts. Um, you can put in mod resistance if you have any, if you think you do anyway. Um, yeah. All this cool stuff. And research, I haven't really messed with this too much. Um, yeah. Looks like you can just kind of limit it. So, alright, guys, I'm uh, going to back out and we'll go back to camera and we'll see how it goes. Later. Welcome back. Alright, so that was a look at the eScribe software. It's definitely taking me some time to get used to this. Uh, temp control stuff it takes a lot of playing around. It's still not. I still don't have it perfect. I do have it to the point where I'm happy with it. Um, all in all, it's a like I said before. It's a it's a really nice board. Um, I'm not gonna say d the device because I mean I made this one. Although I love this one. I mean the battery life is insane. It's all battery. This whole thing's freaking battery. But yeah. Holy shit. My wife's playing with the dogs up there. You can probably hear it. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's really cool. It's definitely a, a big learning curve. I just wanted to give you guys a quick little tour of the software. It's not very scary. You just kind of click through it and figure it out. Um, with that, I'll catch you guys later. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe. That'd be friggin' awesome.